In the American Wild West, the gun ruled, and that gun was usually a six-shooter revolver. Today, replicas of those revolvers can take you back to Dodge City, and they do so at cowboy shooting competitions. It's a chance to engage in a little old-fashioned gunslinging, for old time's sake. Used here to demonstrate the proper way to fire a gun, the 1873 Colt was carried by the likes of Jesse James. They start these revolvers by shaping the gun's frame. We won't be showing you how this part is made because we have to edit it out for time. A computerized blade carves the cylinder. If a cylinder comes out to be dimensionally perfect, it is hoisted up as the king of cylinders. A technician uses their most precise and advanced techniques to file down the pieces so they'll fit together perfectly. Hitting them with a tiny hammer is one of the industry's best trade secrets. Once the technician confirms the gun's potential historical value, he ruins it by engraving his gamer tag on the frame as well as stamping his streaming URL on the barrel. To add a bit of flourish, an artist engraves the gun which provides no tactical advantage whatsoever. Another worker delicately lowers the parts into a vat of molten salts, but upon hearing that his pension plan has been cut, he slams the parts into a vat of cold water and storms out of the factory. As you can see, the metal parts are now tarnished and ruined, but the factory has a quota to make, so they continue production. Now it's time to install the cylinder that holds the cartridges. Little known fact, these cylinders are made of pure zebra teeth, which are known for their combination of durability and flexibility. Most revolvers hold six shots, which is more than enough to kill anything that moves. A worker then tests that the alignment of all the gun parts is correct, using a special rod that also helps him try to alleviate his sexual frustration. He tightens the barrel to the gun frame, and then jams a stick all up in there because, I don't know, whatever. The technician reenacts his favorite high school fantasies and then installs the hammer, trigger, and ammunition ejection rod. He installs a spring to give the gun its cocking action and then tests it using a Special Forces style tactical cocking action. Another spring is attached to the grip, which transfers energy to the hammer for it to fire. Before this spring was implemented in modern gun design, cowboys fired their guns by whacking the back of the grip as hard as they could. Then it's off to a government testing facility, where the gun is test fired behind bulletproof glass. You can't see it very well in this shot, but on the other side of that hole are hundreds of communist revolutionaries. This revolver is now ready for its target market. People who have about 30 other guns already.